Well, I was just uh, working on this refrigerator pump. It came out of our uh, refrigerator, obviously, and the fridge itself died, but I was able to save the compressor and cut it in half, which was fairly not fun. But uh, it's really cool. You can see the little offset. I took the reeds out of the head because they were starting to go too. So it's just kind of this little model. And I got rid of the intake and outlet muffler. See, it went on it there. And there, you can see a little vent down in there, maybe. No. But, uh, yeah, and I drained all the oil out of it, so it's nice and clean. So, yeah, it's really cool. It's, the whole thing's kind of on springs. So, like, you can move it around separately than the shell. But, uh, yeah, and it's got this little capacitor deal here. We'll plug in, I think. Let's say. Um, I believe that says 180 volts AC at 12 microfarads. So just a little baby capacitor, but I was thinking the VFD wouldn't run it with the capacitor still on there, but it does surprisingly. It actually runs very well. I've got my VFD mounted to the wall. And so I got it at uh, 10 hertz, so. There we go. Look at that. So cool. Cute little single cylinder. It's real quiet without the reeds in it. When I had the reeds in it, it sounded really loud and annoying. So I'll go ahead and kick that dude up. It's 20 hertz, 30, 40, 50, 60. And as you guess, it's not happy with no oil, but. I don't really care, it's a piece of crap anyway. Let's take it up a little more. I think I can get 120 out of it. It's 100. Take it down some more. Let's go eight. Let's see how it stalls. Ah, uh, four hertz. Nah, it's just flopping around. Five hertz is the lows it'll go. Four. Oh no. There's four, five, four, three, two. There we go. But yeah, it's interesting. I've never opened one up before, so. Oof. Head's a little warm, no oil. If I want to fill this thing up with hydraulic oil, what do you do? You know, like, to the brim with oil. I just wonder if it'd... What'd it do? Probably just make a huge mess. But yeah, I'll go ahead and... Yeah, you can see cute little offset. See the little bearing? It's just a piece of plastic. Right there. It's not even a metal race, it's just plastic. The motor itself is quite a little chunky for a little cute little refrigerator pump. I mean, a lot more than I'd expect. I think I can even pull the thing out. 
maybe. Yeah. There we go. I just pulled the motor out of the sump. You can see those little springs. A little bit of oil. I think it's just like mineral oil or some synthetic. I don't know. You can see the little metal bits in the bottom. Yeah. That's neat. You can see the bottom of it. But heck, the windings on the thing look perfect. I mean, look at that. I think I can see the cylinder right there. I don't know if the camera will get that. And there it is. I'm guessing, I don't know for sure, but I think the oil gets sucked up to the center. And then, comes out there. And kind of sprays around at the top of the shell, then kind of rains down. And it kind of comes down on it, but... Anyway, I thought this would be kind of neat. And thanks for watching, I'll hoping to get more videos up pretty soon.